Hi friends, you are welcome in this tutorial. Friends, in the last three videos, we discussed about characters in Animal Farm. We took all the major characters in Animal Farm. In the first video, we talked about two characters that is Napoleon and Snowball. In the second video, we also talked about two major characters. And in the third video, we talked about three major characters in the Animal Farm. Now, in this video, we are going to discuss about the remaining characters though they are minor characters but they are significant characters and this video will be the last video in the series of the characters on characters in animal farm so friends let's start with the very first character of this video that is clover friends clover is a mayor presented in the animal farm now if you look at the character of mayor we find that she is a very honest and sincere kind of mayor a character presented Actually, she represents the working class of women and the intellectual class of society. She knows everything, whatever happens on the animal farm. She is aware of all the happenings, but she did not revolt against anything or she, uh, we can say that do not have that much courage to go against the clan of pigs or the Napoleon or the squealer. So she silently observes everything. Here we have uh, her description let's read the description and understand her character as clover looked down the hillside her eyes filled with tears if she could have spoken her thoughts it would have been to say that this was not what they had aimed at when they had set themselves years ago to work for the overthrow of human race so friends now, if you look at these words we find that these words describe clover very aptly because when clover uh, saw the very animal farm again turning into manor farm as it was at the beginning manor farm the old major have motivated all the animals to work for the manor farm then this manor farm converts into animal farm and again the clan of pigs or all the pigs uh, whose supreme leader is napoleon converts this animal farm into manor farm and when she saw this manor farm so she gets nervous and she sheds tears while looking at the manor farm. So this is the words which aptly describe the personality and the very status of Clover. So there are other personality traits attached to the character of Clover. She is a patriotic mayor. She works very hard for the sake of the animal farm and for the other animals and she is also a very motherly figure she is described at a point that she is a motherly figure stout and she is companion to boxer she cares for boxer so much and she is a very close friend to boxer many times she advised boxer not to work hard but boxer also believes in the hard work and she is also a believer in the hard work she works very hard for the animal farm so she is a patriotic mayor Again, there are some other characteristics uh, of her character that is she is a very patient listener of the message given by old major. She did not revolt against uh, this uh, very clan of pigs or Napoleon, but she shows the courage. She is a courageous uh, mayor. She is a courageous character over there on the animal farm. When she when finds that ducklings are stranded or they lost their way, she helps them to get their way so this is her motherly character but we can say that she is a silent observer of the events on the animal farm so friends we can say that she is the representation of uh, common people or middle working class uh, women and also the intellectuals of the society who uh, do not revolt against any system or who do not dare to uh, rebel against against any power so she is that uh, kind of person presented there now friends let's move to the next character and uh, we have a pair of characters that is bluebell and jesse now bluebell and jesse are the dogs uh, pet dogs of mr jones and they bore uh, some puppies of dogs and these puppies later become the enforcers or the protector of the Napoleon and his system or we can say that uh, the power of uh, Napoleon is uh, on the basis of these uh, dogs. So Bluebell and Jesse gives birth to 
this copy is the bodyguards of napoleon now, now uh, again we have next character that is molly now molly is a different character she is a mayor presented in the animal farm so she is presented as a lazy mayor in the animal farm she is a pessimistic character in the animal farm because she did did not believe any revolution she did not believe any revolt against any uh, discriminatory power and she is also a very selfish kind of character like pigs now if we can look at the character of molly we can say that she is the representation of middle class of the society they neither in favor of the power nor against the power but they live their life very steadily in the same way we can find the life of molly so molly is a greedy she is dishonest she is also a very fashionable and selfish mayor so for her here we have some of the words and uh, it describes the character of molly let's read this word she was between the shafts of a smart dog cart painted red and black which was standing outside a public house a fat red faced man in check breeches and gaiters who looked like a publican who was stroking her nose and feeling feeding with sugar her coat was newly clipped and she wore a scarlet ribbon round her fair locks she appeared to be enjoying herself so the pigeon said none of the animals ever mentioned molly again she never thinks about the reduced food of other animals because she gets her sufficient food now friends this is the character of molly we can say that this is a character who is a neutral kind of character she is fond of flattery and all the time she talks about sugar candy mountain and the life after death so she gets involved in imagination and she takes joy in imagination because she did not care about other animals she did not care about what is going there on the animal farm because she gets her steak she gets enough food and so that she did not care about anything so this is the character of molly now friends let's move to the next or fourth character in this series moses now moses is a tame raven of mr jones he spies on the animals he is also a character like molly he is a selfish greedy and he is in favor of mr jones whatever happens on the farm he uh, takes the news from the spot and delivers it to the mr jones now here we have some of the words describing his character and personality moses who was mr jones special pet was a spy and tale bearer but he was also a clever talker he claimed to know of the existence of a mysterious country called sugar candy mountain to which all animals went when they died it was situated somewhere up in the sky a little distance beyond the clouds moses said now friends uh, there is similarity between the character of molly and the character of moses because molly also talks about sugar candy mountain and this moses who also all the time talks about sugar candy mountain and he claimed that he visited that sugar candy mountain and he find the life there on the sugar candy mountain very luxurious and he spins the stories he spins the tales there friends this character of moses is loyal to mr jones but he is not loyal to the animal farm or the other animals because he did not believe in any revolution or any good kind of things happened on the animal farm so he is a opposite character we can say that in the in this manner and he is fond of flattery he all the time talks about this sugar candy mountain and he spins stories around this sugar candy mountain and he says that he claimed actually that there is luxurious life on the sugar candy mountain and he has given the distance of this sugar candy mountain beyond a little uh, that clouds so friends though he is a very fine talker he is a very skilled talker moses but all the animals did not like him so this is the a uh, failure of moses we can say that so this is the character of moses now friends let's move to the next characters now next three characters mr frederick mr pickington and mr vampire are human beings presented in the novel now this uh, mr frederick is the owner of neighboring farm to animal farm and initially he trades into this animal farm but he becomes the enemy of napoleon and he cheats the pigs and attacks on the animal farm but napoleon defeats him or the pigs defeats him so we find that and this character is presented as a human being the next character is mr pickington mr pickington is also a owner of the neighboring farm to animal farm and he becomes the ally to napoleon and ally to 
pigs. So there is a partnership between Napoleon and Mr. Pickington. Again, the next character is Vampire. Mr. Vampire is a lawyer retained by pigs or Napoleon and he works for Napoleon. He is loyal to Napoleon and he becomes the mediator between human beings and these animals. And Friends, we have next character that is Muriel. Muriel is a goat and she is literate goat. As we find that pigs are fully literate and Benjamin also is a fully literate and she is the third animal on the animal farm that she is fully literate. So goat is fully literate and she knew the all commandments and she also tracks the modification into these commandments, seven commandments and he finds it very painful. So uh, this character is presented. Now friends we have next characters that is sheep. Sheep are passive intruder or we can say that sheep are passively presented in the uh, novel animal farm because sheep are less intellectual and they did not involved very actively in any event of the uh, animal farm but sheep are the medium of spreading propaganda because they are illiterate and they did not know how to write and how to read they just spread propaganda all over the animal farm. So these ships represent the illiterate class of the society. So these and ships are very useful for Napoleon and whatever Napoleon and Spiller talks, they spread these lies among the other animals. So this is the uh, character of ships. Then we have uh, dogs and hens. Now, as we have seen that Bluebell and Jesse gave birth to some dogs and these dogs becomes the enforcer of Napoleon and they become the protector of the rule of Napoleon, the power of Napoleon and they all the time accompany pigs and Napoleon. Some of them are the bodyguards uh, and Napoleon had trained them very ferociously and he trained them to attack the other animals whoever comes into the power of Napoleon. He sends these dogs and the uh, role of dogs are significant for the power of uh, Napoleon or the rule of Napoleon. Then we have other characters like hens. Now, uh, hens are the egg producers. At a time they revolt against Napoleon or the rule of Napoleon, but the, this revolt fails and they had to uh, pay the very heavy price of this revol revolt or rebellion. So friends, these are some of the characters, remaining characters, though they are minor characters, but important characters. Now, uh, the series of characters uh, ends here. And uh, if you think there is any difficulty in understanding the characters in Animal Farm, please comment below in the comment box. I will try to answer your queries or problems. So friends, uh, thank you very much for watching this complete video. Like this video, share this video among your friends and subscribe to Literature Simply and also press the bell notification icon for updates on uh, literature and language.